Hello, welcome to this Honors 110 video on how to search Web of Science. In this tutorial, you will learn how to access, search, and use the key features in Web of Science. In order to access the database Web of Science, start at the Mason Library's homepage. Select the blue Databases button. Either browse alphabetically for Web of Science or use the search box. Select Web of Science Core Collection. You should be prompted to sign in with the same NetID and password that you use for Blackboard. If you do not see the login screen, sign in to your My Mason Library account using the link on the library's homepage. Like many databases, the Web of Science homepage provides you a few options for your research. Use the main search bar for general searches in the database. The default setting is to search by all fields. You can change this to other options like topic or author. You can also adjust the time span to customize the currency of the results by selecting the add date range button. For more advanced searching, select the advanced search link. To demonstrate Web of Science, we're going to explore the topic of AI and art. For our first attempt, let's use the search terms artificial intelligence, art. We get over 40,000 results from this search, so let's revisit what makes a good search. We need to be more thoughtful with our search terms, so let's try again. Remember, use Boolean operators and try out various keywords for a more effective search. This time, let's type in the terms artificial intelligence in quotation marks and art and value. Let's also change this drop down box from all fields to topic. Now we're at about 800 results. This is still high, but more manageable than 40,000. Web of Science has many tools to help you learn more about your search results. Selecting the Analyze Results button on the right side of the screen will bring you to a page that lets you visualize and filter your results by different categories. These categories represent the disciplines of the journals the articles are published. If you select the View Records button that appears when you hover over a box, you can filter your search to only that category. For our example, we only want to view the results under the category Management. We can also filter by category by returning to the search results screen and using the filters on the left side of the page. Another helpful tool in Web of Science is the ability to create a citation report. Using this tool allows you to view a broad overview of when authors were publishing about your topic. Recognizing these trends can help you recognize key years in which the conversation around your topic may have changed. This may have been a result of a significant development in the field, controversial research, or a key event in history. For our example, we can see that research really took off on this topic in 2020. We can find even more information from our results from how often they have been cited. When we scroll down the page, Web of Science shows us our results filtered by relevancy. You can rearrange search results by time cited by sorting using the filter, citations highest first. You'll see citations to the right of each search result. This refers to how many articles cited the article after it was published. This number can be an indication that the source is influential in the field. However, this number is only one small factor in determining the usefulness of a source. Always keep in mind what your purpose is and evaluate your sources to gain a full picture of your topic. See the module for more information on the pros and cons of the citation feature. Let's explore one of our results in more depth. Selecting one of our results, we can dig even deeper into Web of Science's tools. Selecting the Cited References tool on the right side of the source allows you to easily view all of the citations and resources the author of this article referenced. This can help you find even more relevant sources to explore. Thanks for watching this video. For any further questions, go to the Ask a Librarian tab from the library's homepage.